Okay, so last time we made a program in which the user can calculate a number and then pick a random number and that's the end of our program. In this case um, we want to make the user play until he wants to quit the game. So in order to do that we want to make an interactive application where we ask the user what he wants to do. So in this case let's create a user. Hello user, what is your name? We read the input, then we greet the user. Welcome username. What would you like to do? So let me comment out the last part. So in our application now, first we say to the user, hello user. Oh, my virus scanner just became active for no apparent reason. Hello user, what is your name? Brian. Welcome Brian, what would you like to do? one, calculate a sum, two, generate a random number, or three, quit the application. So in this case we give the, the user three options and then we can uh, compare his input. So string user choice is console.readline and again we need to validate that his choice is one actually a number and two between the numbers zero and three and we can copy our previously written code so while the user user choice in this case and user choice number equals zero if the number is smaller than 1 in this case because we have the choices 1 to 3 or the number is bigger than 3 then we say the input is not a valid choice and then we make him choose again and if it is a valid input so if user choice number is 1, then we play calculate sum game. Else if user choice number is 2, we say generate random number game. We execute generate number game. Else if his choice is 3, or we could just simply say else because we know that if it's not 1 or two, that it will be three. We say thank you for playing. What's the user's name?
Goodbye. And then our application ends. Um, and what we can do is, in this case, we greet the user here. I'm going to split this up in two different lines. and put this in a new function display choices so after we welcome the user so first welcome the user then display available options oh in this case um, we need to output so what we can do is we can return choice number so instead of making this a static void we make this into a static int <coughs> and we can return user choice number in the end And in this case, we can just make int user choice number, and we can equal it to display choices. So we calculate a sum game, or we generate a number, or we thank him for playing. And what we can do is while user choice number is different from tree we can run our code here let's see if this uh, works or if it becomes an endless loop hello user what's your name Brian what would you like to do calculate the sum Please calculate the sum of 3 plus 7, 10. Congratulations. The sum of 3 plus 7 is 10. Please calculate the sum of 5 plus 10, 15. And in this case, the application will keep on <coughs> making the user do his original uh, choice, which is not what we want. So after every option, uh, instead of making this in a while loop what we could do is so calculate some game after we've done this after calculate some game we can display the choices again so each time we reassign the choices so for calculate some game and for generate random number we ask the user what he wants to do again. So let's generate a random number this time. Ha Hello user, what's your name? Brian, welcome Brian, what would you like to do? Generate a random number. Please pick a number between 0 and 10. 5. Your input was accepted. Number generation attempt 1. You can see the numbers. And then once it finished this, it will say what would you like to do? Calculate a sum or quit the application. I want to calculate the sum. Please calculate the sum of 4 plus 2, 6. Congratulations, you are correct. The sum of 4 plus 2 is 6. What would you like to do? Quit the application. I press 3 and now it says press any key to continue. It didn't, for some reason, display thank you for playing. Not sure why that is. Uh, but I will look into it later. Thank you for watching this video.